Welcome, CinePals. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. Yo! We're looking at Dr. Mike versus Stephen He. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. So, yeah. you guys, thanks so much for joining us. I'm a big fan of Dr. Mike and Stephen He, so seeing these two old collides... See, wow, I did that very Asian, didn't I? Emotional damage! Seeing these two old collides... Seeing? Seeing these two worlds collide okay. is, is quite fun for me. You guys, thanks so much. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please. Vote this up, let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching while you subscribe to everybody. Subscribe to Dr. Mike, Stephen, he. Both are linked in the description below. Here we go. Gentlemen, it's time. It's time for the next TikTok Wars, and I'm gonna be pitting Dr. Mike against Stephen, he. Emotional damage. Love. That thing hurt my ears so bad. Can I sue you for that? <laughs> Steven, how confident are you in your TikTok abilities? Oof, I, I'm not a TikToker, but I'll give it a You're a bigger... It's funny that the whistle hurt Mike's ear, Dr. Mike's ears, because every time he goes, pew, wee, pew, whoop, I'm just like... Pew, whoop. It's the, he's yeah. like, it's, a, it's the higher pitch. I'm it's gonna... fine when it's coming out of your mouth, but if it's coming out of someone else's or, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. TikToker than I am a TikToker. <laughs> Both of you will have 30 minutes to create a TikTok. Ooh. Our first challenge is he whoop and emotional damage words that have stayed. In this first TikTok, invent a new catchphrase. Oh, 30 God. Minutes. Oh, God. Wait, it says now? 30 oh, minutes. No. Oh, oh, no. Where, where should I go? I kind of want to do something where it's like he whoop damage. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I think I'm feeling something. It's about every Asian parent's solution to every illness. Oh, fix. <laughs> Where do I get a great blazer? Ah, <laughs> Asian dad got off great today. <laughs> it's a rule of threes, you always need a third. Dr. Mike is gonna love the medical accuracy of this. Dan, I need to borrow your hand. Just, just hold this shot. My girlfriend just stopped me. <laughs> What? Yes. I don't know how to edit things on my phone. I'm sorry. Oh, bless me neither. It's fine. Oh, my God. All righty. So I have one from each of you. Which should I watch first? I want to watch yours first. I, okay. All right. All right. But wait, I got 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 to set it up. All right. Here's your doctor doing things for you. Here's your doctor doing things for, for you. For you. Uh-huh. I can't hear anything. Doctor listening. <laughs> Patient reaches for tissues. Let me do it for you! <laughs> oh my so god. So nice of the doctor. That's good. Pa club partying, oh, yeah. taking shots. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Doctor's gotta come in. Cheers. Let me do it for you! <laughs> I what? thought you actually made that sound with your mouth. <laughs> oh, this dog's so drooly. He's so Let cute. Let me do it for you! <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that That is a aggravating sound <laughs> that, I hate that sound that he made I don't like it at all <laughs> I don't like it Could not be your foot wow. So the doctor got the tissues to be emotionally yeah. supportive Spilled out the shot to prevent alcoholism And the doctor checked the reflexes And also allowed playtime with the dog Which are all healthy things So my new catchphrase is Let me do it for you Okay. Really impressive, and as we all know, one of the golden rules of comedy is it's always funnier when you have to explain it. Let's move ah. on. <laughs> oh, what a burn. Burn! It's a sore throat. It feels like I, do, I don't know. Oh, okay, I no problem. Funny? So, from all of the medical expertise I've ever studied, passed down to tradition, I have just a cure for you. Hot water. Fake. Vapor rub. I, I just, uh, I fell off the bike and I, I sprained my elbow and it's like probably, probably bleeding. Vapor rub. Uh, <laughs> I've only got a feed in geography. Vapor rub. So my girlfriend just, um, just stopped me. Vapor rub. Breaking news. This is CNBS here with the breaking news of a viral TikTok trend that has apparently revolutionized the entire medical industry with one saying. Vapor rub. <laughs> <laughs> Vapor rub. That's actually funny. That could catch on. No, and that is also accurate, except I know I said Vix, right? Because I feel like that is more common for most Asians. When it's my mom, mm -hmm. it's not Vix, it's Tiger Bomb. It's like anything. Oh, mom, I, I scratched my knee. Oh, Tiger Bomb. Uh, my, my back hurts. Tiger mm -hmm. Bomb. Yeah. I have a cold. Tiger Bomb. That's the only reason why you liked my big fat Greek wedding was because of the Windex moment. Well, yeah, because it's so relatable. It. I No, I mean... 
that that movie that was the moment though is, that was your moment i'm fully fully certain no i love the windex and i also love okay. the he's vegetarian oh he doesn't eat meat all okay right. you can have lamb I'll ah! say, yes all righty well i'll say this mike really impressed me he made a very funny tiktok he did a bunch of different shots technically it was very impressive and because of that i'm gonna give that um two-thirds a cup of bear drool okay that's two-thirds of a cup okay um, that's a lot of the drool steven uh it was very tight it was very punchy the premise was very very clear i think yeah. i'm gonna give steven Stephen, a full cup yeah, of bear drool. I think he deserves a full cup. Because he invented a new catchphrase. Mike was taking inspiration from something that exists. Stephen invented vapor rub. I can see this trendy. I can see vapor rub oh, becoming new. Absolutely. That's trademark. That's gonna be. <laughs> Yeah, and Mine is not trademarked. Which means, How is it mean that I'm which, stealing? Which means Steven is going above and beyond to create a, a built-in brand deal for himself. I'm going to give one point over to Steven. Oh my Lee. God, thank you so much, Seb. Well deserved, I feel. Goop products and miracle cures. Things oh, no. that should be banned. In this next TikTok, show us a doctor that's off-brand. What? Off-brand. Oh, these are very okay. hard briefs. I would spend half an hour just trying to... Oh my god, the dog. You're about to see my very first Doctor character of my entire channel. Is, is this Dr. Mike's, like, apartment? I think so. He's got, like, 18 tripods and all those sound panels and whatever to help, you know, deaden the sound. It, oh, is, of course you would notice that stuff. Yeah, it's just to treat the room so that, like, did you see it behind? No, I wasn't. I was uh, distracted by the cute dog. There's, like, these big rectangle so uh, sound panels just to help deaden the audio so uh... that it doesn't echo as much. He's <laughs> got a nice apartment, too. This? It doesn't really... We're gonna watch Stevens first. Okay, off-brand doctors. Off yes. brand doctors. Off-brand um, doctors. What kind of hospital is this? It doesn't really look like a real hospital. Uh, oh, no, no, everything is, is totally cool. I, I got my degree from Wish. Okay, um, yeah. I'm just from Wish? No problem. Uh, have you tried some sneeze candy? You mean cough drop? Or you could drink some bazooka honey? You mean manuka honey? <laughs> my dad told me this one. You could put some lion paste under your nose. Tiger bomb? What kind of place? What are you gonna put me in an MRI scan next? Uh huh, we do have an IRS scan. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. I thought this was the Mayo Clinic. Oh no, this is the ketchup clinic. <laughs> <laughs> that scene. Mine that was great. Mine is the length of that one. I'm so curious. This is Dr. Taz. Dr. Taz. Uh, is that okay. a reference to something? Like a show Have you heard of Dr. Oz? Oh, it's such a cold day, but I gotta go check out my heart, man. This is, this is not good. Oh, what is... What, what, what is this? <laughs> Shouldn't this say cardiologist? And <laughs> what is... As seen on TV. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the office. This is where we produce our, I mean, treat patients. <laughs> you know, we gotta make sure everyone's healthy with the heart. This is, this is the body. This is, this is the body. You, you see this, this? doctor? Oz, why am I sitting without my shirt on? This is awkward. Who's the doctor here? Who's had ten seasons of a successful show? Eh? <laughs> I gotta do a skin exam, all right? <laughs> I'm already seeing some dysfunctions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are uh, binoculars there, champ. Pretty sure I'm the one that went to medical school, okay? Columbia you hear? trained? This is your body. There's something wrong with your body. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. See that? I'm a surgeon. I'm a surgeon and I know just what you need. Really? I mean, you're a heart surgeon, though. And what do you think I need? You may not have voted for me, but this is what you need. BS! <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> miracle BS? Why would I want this? BS. It's all backwards because yeah, of the stupid he's using thing. The front yeah, yeah, miracle yeah, yeah. BS. You. Watch your mouth, you, young man. That's the finest cow bull excrement that will extend your life, <laughs> cause you to lose weight, make you be superhuman and have superhuman potential. Did I check that? Fact check, fact check. Fact, we don't need fact check. We don't just need fact need check. Miracles. 
So vote for me in 2022 Senate. You don't need fact checks. That, that felt more like Trump than I, I, well, I don't actually know what Dr. Oz sounds yeah, like. Yeah, I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen Dr. Oz. But I mean, it could be any one of these like Shyster. doctors <laughs> online that yeah. are all like, follow me or whatever. I mean, I'm sure there are many doctors on YouTube who are actually good, you know, yeah. but it does. Yeah, it's got that sort of Connie attitude. But, but yeah, if you're like pumping your own products and stuff like that, it starts to feel a little bit weird. It is sure. bizarre that people fall for that stuff, but I guess people are... Everyone's just, just looking for a quick fix, you know? Yeah. At hospital. I'm very pleased across the board here. Let's start with Stephen He. What a clear concept, right? Very yes. straightforward. The off-brand doctor. We're doing a lot of wordplay there. Wordplay is very fun. So because of that, I'm going to give this a very respectable two uh, Roxy legs. It's a two, oh, two Roxy which legs. Is oh, it's a very legs. Conan O'Brien kind of grading <laughs> system. Roxy leg. Uh, now, on the other hand, we have Dr. Mike, and, and, and now this concept wasn't quite as clear as yeah. Stevens was, yeah. but I think that actually worked to your advantage. Mike Mike went above and beyond here. He went to the next level. I learned a little bit something uh, about myself in, in Dr. <laughs> wow. oh. I'm going to give it the highest possible score you can get on the Roxy leg meter. Do you know how high that is? Three legs? Because she's only got three of them. <laughs> oh. It's only funny because she's okay. Yes. That's going to be a point over there for Dr. Mike. I don't know, I man. I feel like that was I would've generous. I would have voted for Stephen myself. Final I would have given it to Stephen just because it was more concise. Yeah, it was more concise. And like he said, it was clear. And well, I may be biased because I find Stephen he hilarious. And a lot of his jokes just like really resonate with me. And so I just thought that his comedy was yeah. on point. Yeah, yeah, I think for me, Dr. Mike is hilarious when he's just himself yeah. reacting to stuff and talking just like normal n naturally yeah when he's trying to be funny I think I'm less engaged with it well and you also know? Steven's an actor and he's a really good comedic actor and sure. so he brings all of that to the table yeah. um, all the marbles oh boy all the bee whoops <laughs> Do the, oh, right. the, <laughs> the, throne, the TikTok wars champion of today you've longed for their acceptance You've cried you, and begged so, so loud. For your parents' love. In this love. final TikTok, show us what would finally make your father proud. Oh, yes. boy. Oh, boy. 30 minutes. 30 Go. minutes is not a lot of time. It's not. It's really not. I'm just so impressed that he's able to. Yeah. Like, I mean, given the circumstances, Dr. 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 Mike is, both of them are really like pulling off some amazing feats here. Yeah. It's just 30 minutes In to like half make an a whole video. I just became a doctor. Like, oh, God, just concept, like shooting, and yeah. editing. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really quick. I don't think I can. What do it. will finally make your father happy? It's time for me to judge the final round. That's so fast! Whoa! Oh, looks like oh. we have a guest judge. It's Chris. Chris Collins what? is here, the reigning champion of That's TikTok right. Wars. That's wow. right. You've held oh, the crown for that. a year now. It's true. Oh, it's time for you to a, a fourth guest judge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bear. 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 Come here. Lay down. You're, you're very slobbery. Okay. What okay. will make their fathers happy? I'm excited to see. <laughs> Hey Dad, I just got out of the medical school. So, Mike going to the best school. Which one? All of them. Hey Dad, I just became a doctor. Mike already a doctor. When he was nine, I just got a New York Times article. Mike just bought the New York Times. I just won a Nobel Prize. Mike has five. I did my degree with a scholarship. Scholarship. So what? That means I didn't have to pay tuition. You got a discount? <laughs> <laughs> That's the winner. Yes. This is gonna yes. Be Steven's gonna lay down some emotional damage uh, on your buddy. Oh, we, but we have, let's oh, not. We have. We still. Oh have my god, three he's chance. so worried. Like my father would it. <laughs> the emotional, emotional damage. damage. <laughs> what is that? A beard? <laughs> a beard? Yeah. Those socks. Papa. I just finished my first marathon. <sighs> Papa, I just beat up I-dubs. So what? <laughs> Papa, I got a perfect MCAT score. And? Papa, I just saved a life using chest compression, chest compression, chest compression. <laughs> <laughs> I finally made the cure for cancer. I'm giving it to you. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we had like the same thought. We had the same progression, but it's good. You guys didn't plan that, like you guys. No, had we the didn't. Same setup. Respect. That that is a, that was that was a good. good collab. Great minds think wow. alike. Uh, Chris and I need to deliberate. Yeah. So okay, if you two right. could please I've been step out. This is close. No, it's not. No. no, it's not even close. Not even a little bit. But I mean, Stephen He has the advantage because his full focus is comedy. Yes. Like this is not a yeah. fair competition. No, it's not. The, it's like, not. Like because Stephen He is obliterating him across the board, in my opinion. But that's because that's his lane that he focuses on full time. Yeah. Nothing else. Whereas Dr. Mike is concentrating on being a doctor, and he's doing YouTube and TikTok. Apparently, he's got a lot going on, yeah. and he's fighting people. <laughs> so, yeah. If comedy it was like a, a grading system. Stephen, he's like in college. Yeah. And Dr. Mike's in eighth grade. That's just not a fair, you know, there's no way. <laughs> you right. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I thought that Stephen, he's one was so tight and I loved the punchline because yeah. yes, I can totally see but that. But this happening. is on Dr. Mike's channel, so they're yeah, going to be nice. Yeah, so they've got to gotta be nice. You know, we all know that. <laughs> Nonetheless, like, I think that given the time frame that they're working with, Dr. Mike's videos are actually really impressive. Like, I think of myself, like, if I had 30 minutes to make a video, I wouldn't be able to do anything as funny as Dr. Mike's is in these in this, no, like, thing. No, and I would never be able to reach even close to what Stephen He's doing. Right. If we had a day, however. Yeah. I feel like we could do it. 24 hours, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is really It cool. is. I was actually not expecting Mike's to be as good as it was. Because mm -hmm. wow. this is Steven's wheelhouse. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it was flawless, to be honest. Yes. Steven yes. was teed up. He got the timing right. He got yeah. the pacing it right. So the good. editing's good. Let's give Mike some credit here. There's music involved. There was There's music intention. at the beginning. He has on-screen text yep. in there. Yep. That's worth something. That would, yep. The fake beard. Mm -hmm. the, just so you all know, the music is built into iMovie, and I think that's what Dr. Mike was using to edit his stuff. Oh, really? It's just got music baked in. It's disturbing, mm -hmm. but entertaining. I think I've made a decision. Okay. Um, I think we share the same opinion. Okay. Scoring-wise, um, one person has received a three, while the other person has received a full four out of four rounds with Chris Avila. Which is technically me, the winner <laughs> of TikTok Wars, and the new reigning TikTok champion is Stephen He. Yeah. Yay! Did Doctor Did Doctor Mike really think he was gonna yeah, win that one? Did he really one? think he okay, had a oh, shot? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, emotional I love you, damage. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Where we See, like his natural reactions are the funny thing. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That's when he's his best. He's just adorable and funny in yeah. his own cute, awkward way. And yeah. I really, really like him. And I like Stephen He as well because his comedy is so funny and it's so relatable, right. especially if you have an Asian parent. Right, like, exactly. All that stuff that he was talking about. I've been listening to Simu Liu's audiobook. Mm -hmm. There was like a whole section where it's all about how Asian parents are just comparing you to like their friends' kids, and they're always like, oh, this person took piano lessons. Now you have to. It's, it's you just, have to be better than them. To be fair, though, it's not just Asian parents. In fact, no. growing up, I think that my dad did that to me more than my mom. Really? My mom was more aloof and quiet, like a ninja in the corner. Like She didn't That's say much funny. to me. You know, I mean, she would have come in and say, how come your grades aren't better? And I'm like, ah, that was it. That was the only conversation my mom would have with me. Oh, make yeah. sure you get a, a good job with benefits so that you have, uh, you know, health care. Security. Yeah, security. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of conversation conversations I would have with my mom. Whereas I remember distinctly being in sixth grade basketball and there was a kid named Patrick who was like the Michael Jordan of the team. The coach would just put him in all the time. First string, he was always the one with the ball. Shoot, like he was amazing, don't get me wrong. My dad came to one of my games and he saw how well Patrick played. I was the bench warmer who came in when the, we already knew we were gonna win. That's when they would put me in, Aww. right? And so my dad, after a game once was like, how come you're not like Patrick? And I'm like, dad, Aww. are you kidding me? But yeah, anyway. That's the worst. I definitely got a lot of that yeah. growing up. Mm -hmm. Everything there is to know about Stephen He's life before oh, yeah, they have a, in the middle of YouTube. You guys can the see the little thing. Holds. Click yeah. here to check that they out. Have, and as always, stay happy and healthy. This was fun. I do love Stephen He as well. Like he he has such a supportive energy. Like he's so happy. He yeah. was laughing at a lot of Dr. Mike's jokes and stuff in in the videos that he made. That I was kind of like, yeah, I mean it's it's cool. I don't find it that funny, but he was rolling. And I feel like that's just because he's such he's a positive supportive. and supportive, happy guy mm -hmm. who's just like you know. I mean, if I was vibes. if I was in Stephen He's position, I would probably be laughing as well, just to give a, a positive energy. Like. 
what yeah. you're saying. I laugh at a lot of things anyway. Yeah, you do. It's just that I wish that they reversed it because they had put Stephen He first on all the rounds. And I think they should have done a coin toss or something. Or put, didn't they? No, first the first one was Dr. Mike. But then they did Stephen He first for the last one. Well, that was always, always a bad move. Dr. Mike, <laughs> did a better ch- Dr. Mike stood a better chance, I feel like, if he went first on every single round. Sure. It's that when you put Stephen He first and then... The it, bar is set. The bar is set. And, and then you're like, like, oh. Yeah, because like if you start with Dr. Mike's, then you have a more positive you know it's more of a clean slate you know what I mean sure that would that's more fair because then you have like a positive memory of Dr. Mike as you watch Stephen He's and it's like oh he was pretty neck and neck it's pretty but, good yeah, yeah but if you watch Do- if you watch Stephen He's first now like you said it's the bar is way up there you're like alright let's see what Dr. Mike can do <laughs> yeah. no I feel like I feel like Dr. Mike had some good ideas he just needed to tighten it up in the edit he's not a comic again like considering that it's actually excellent. What he did was stellar considering the time and the lack of experience. It's not his wheelhouse. Yeah. So I'm, I'm impressed by both of them. Stephen E., it's like, for him, that could have been phoning it in. And it was really good. Yeah. You know? No, because he knows now. I've watched some videos of his where he's like collaborated with other creators. Basically, if I see him in something, I'll, I'll yeah. probably watch it. He worked a really long time and he, he was consistently doing his videos even before he went viral with yeah. the emotional damage meme. And so, yeah, by now, he totally knows what works, what doesn't work. And he he can just crank it out. You got you know? a discount? <laughs> I love that. Was great. That. <laughs> like, that's the... The most yeah. proud moment. You got it for free? Yeah. Amazing. You guys, thanks so much. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.